please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new you can watch all the watch Jojo videos on your big screen TV via our dedicated Roku fire TV Android TV and Apple TV apps the story behind the creepy spiral in the Game of Thrones premieres scariest moment the White Walkers love an art project and the season premiere of the final stretch of Game of Thrones episodes only seeks to reaffirm that in one of the last scenes of the episode Tormund Giantsbane Beric Dondarrion Edison Tullet and friends who somehow survived the Night King's attack on the wall are patrolling the last hearth and come across the latest creepy masterpiece from our undead friends it's a small boy from the house of umber strung up and surrounded by severed human limbs arranged in a familiar spiral pattern earlier in the episode we saw this child Ned umber head of the decimated house umber being ordered by Sansa to bring his people to Winterfell as protection against the Night King's advancing army turns out that return journey to last hearth was ill-timed it appears that the big bad last seen in season 7 finale burning down the wall with his new ice dragon managed to intercept the boy how we're not exactly sure but the upshot is that Ned's dead the moment allows for one of the most perfectly executed jump scares in series history as the child's eyes open and his head turns behind our friends as they plot out their next move but there's also probably greater significance to the symbol our undead friends left behind the spiral and related shapes have continually popped up in iconography related to the White Walkers where have we seen this before the first time we were even introduced to the concept of White Walkers during the cold open of the entire series they left a bunch of dismembered wildlings arranged in a circular pattern thus the poor umber kids fate is in some ways a callback to the pilot but beyond that there are plenty more examples of this kind of creativity when Mance Raiders men along with Jon Snow stumble across a spiral of horse parts in the season 3 episode walk of punishment he grumbles always the artists a grim joke at the White Walkers proclivities the more useful explanation for where these designs come from stems back to the ancient children of the forest when Bran journeys through time with the three-eyed Raven in season 6 just before Hodor meets his unfortunate end there's an overhead shot of their weirwood tree where the children created the first White Walker it's surrounded by stones arranged in that familiar spiral pattern we later see that same image covered in snow there's undeniable significance to the fact that the White Walkers keep returning to this image of the spot where they were born when children decided to stab a man in the heart in a misguided effort to stop their own slaughter in season 7's the spoils of war John takes Daenerys to the cave of Dragonstone where he first shows her the carvings left behind by the children of the forest there he explains how the first men and children of the forest banded together to fight their common enemy during the long night he doesn't explain what the purpose of all those little swirls are so what does all this mean honestly even the reddit theorizers are perplexed by this one even though many think it's some sort of clue some have connected it to the golden ratio in mathematics which would imply it references a harmoniously perfect ideal elsewhere that notion has been dismissed other speculation hones in on the fact that the spiral often has seven arms perhaps a nod to the seven kingdoms in an earlier post episode talkback Benioff offered little explanation for its recurrence these are patterns that have mystical significance for the children of the forest he said we're not sure exactly what they signify but spiral patterns are important in a lot of different cultures in our world and it makes sense that they would be in this world as well what about house umber poor kid right well there's maybe some sort of cosmic payback at work let's not forget the umbers specifically small john sold out the starks to ramsey bolton leading rickon and osha to their deaths sure ned pled fealty to the starks but karma's a bitch